Yo, ha ha wa guang. Tish your boy, Jadon, the Judy. And today, you're probably wondering, yo, Jay, why are you in a half naked uh, orc in the middle of ghost lands? Because I have a guide for you today. You saw the thumbnail, man. You saw the title. Level 29, Rogue. Also, before we get into it, the level 69 video I did a while back, the level 69 twink video, I will be redoing that in the future. You know what I mean? Look, when I do these videos, I do a lot, a lot of research, a lot of grabbing items and whatnot. For that level 69 video, I ain't going to cap. I ain't do a dang <laughs> I ain't do a dang thing. I, I went in the joint, saw some high-end greens, and I was just grabbing crap. It turns out the three weapons I was showing off that you should, I was like, oh, you got to have these three weapons. Those three weapons came from the same dang quest. So, yeah, that video sucked in comparison to literally every other Twink video I did where it was, I've, I've searched for hours on the best items, grab the items, get the items, this and that and that and this and this and that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, share with your peoples, support the channel, become legendary. I do all things Warcraft, mostly PvP because that's pretty much all I do in this dang game, with a little bit of trains mode. That being said, if you are not here, for the guide portion of this video, a timestamp will pop up now. You know what I'm saying? Go to that timestamp and the PvP will begin immediately. If you are here for the guide, grab your snacky snacks, your water, get your list, get ready to write down what you're going to need because I got everything a level 29 rogue could possibly need to be superior. Before we get into that, got to show you the most important step and that is freezing your level. So for Horde, you're going to want to pull up to the Valley of Honor. Okay, this green hut right here. Okay, you're gonna go in. It's gonna be the very first building you see as soon as you th go through that door. Make a right, you know what I'm saying? Make another right, you know what I mean? And then make a left. It'll be right here in the corner. Hit that. I wish to no longer gain experience for only 10 gold. Boom, your XP bar is gone. Alrighty, for Alliance, you're gonna come up over to the Stormwind Keep. Okay, right between the Dorvern and Old Town. You're gonna come back behind a uh, freaking this big goofy chair. You're going to come to this room right here. As soon as you enter the room, you're going to go ahead and make a right. That fool be sitting right here in the corner, chilling. Hit that. Oh, for 10 gold. No longer gain experience. Back to the gear, though. Now, the thing that makes the level 29 twinks superior to the level 19 is, well, you're 10 levels above, and gear gets pretty ridiculous at this level. Okay? Boom. Bam. Bam. Wow, the options were freaking endless. Okay, like I had choices forever, but of course y'all know me. I've separated the best from the worst, starting off with helmets. Okay, in the past you would have gone with the lucky fishing hat, and some people probably still will. But for me, you know what I mean. I'm not much of a stamina fiend. I don't give a crap about stamina a lot of times. I would rather kill you as fast as possible. Pathfinding hat of the monkey. See this in the market? Top it as fast as possible. Make sure you go for the 9-9. Nine, nine. Not the 8-8, eight, eight, not the 8-9, not the 9-8. Nine, 9-9, eight. nine, nine. all right? You got other options, though. Faster options. These two right here for Horty. Specifically, you get Spirit Hunter Headdress. Ten Agility. And for Alliance, you get Hubert's or Humbert's Helm. A 7-8. But if you want the best of the best, you're going to be looking for the Lucky Fishing Hat or Pathfinder hat of the monkey. Okay. Also, once we actually get to the PvP part, her gear won't look the same. I have a transmog NPC on my server, so I'm, I'm transmogging her gear after this. Next up, we got neck pieces, which are right here. Your two best neck pieces. Boom. Bam. Scout for Horty. Sentinel for Alliance. But since you gotta farm a little bit for that, you know what I'm saying? Do a little bit of PvP and get your honor up so you can purchase these. You're going to want to get your hands on this barbaric iron collar from jewel crafting gives you a nice healthy 10 ap you can easily get this out the auction house or you can make it yourself if you want i'm saying i don't know which gives you more attack power but i doubt the attack power difference will be enough to lose out on five stamina yeah see can't lose out on five stamina and a bit of crit too so this neck piece all the weight Next up, we got shoulders, okay? Shoulders are very important, of course. Your best three options, you got boom, mantle of the thieves, you get 10 agility, four stamina, 
or if you don't give a crap about stamina and you just want raw power you're gonna want these right here forest trackers joints five strength 11 agility and once you get the ability to do so you're gonna want to get your hands on the stained shadowcraft spoulders the best of the best you get hit 20 ap and six stamina i mean that is champion piece see matter between the three pieces that's your piece right there hit rating is dumb important for your easy cheap pieces you got watchman's powderons these come from quest and then you could go with cutthroats mantle of the monkey if you find them in the auction house you want that seven seven not the six seven not the seven six not the six six you want seven seven next up we got our cloak options we got three now all three of these cloaks are a little tough to get but one is the absolute best we go with the tiger strike mantle eight agility seven stamina but shoot the drop rate of that thing is crazy low and the price on the market is usually pretty expensive or you could go with the easy piece that's the nice cloak cloak of the monkey for five five same as the other pieces you don't want the four 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 five five four you want that five five but the best of the best piece in my opinion is the parachute cloak gonna take a little bit of money to get your engineering up but once you get it it's gonna be worth it you get eight agility and you can reduce your fall speed so if you're doing a Rathi, which i know a lot of level 29s do because a Rathi is way freaking better than warsaw coach in my opinion <laughs> if you need a quick easy escape this would be the cloak to do it hit that cloak and go glide to victory and of course for your enchantment if you decide to go with any one of these regular pieces your enchant is going to be lesser agility if you decide to go with this piece which is why it's the best because it is a uh, item level of 45 you get to go with a big dog enchantment of 12 agility so you're definitely going to want that parachute cloak you can this is the best of the best all around great utility great stats great enchantment next up we got our chest piece only three options here these are the three best of the best okay so if you decide to go with a thick murloc armor very healthy 18 ap set uh eight stamina you easily get this off the auction house or make it through leather working yourself pretty easy to get put that uh lovely four stats as you can see you go with the raptor tunic uh you know what i'm saying you could put that six on there however of course the best of the best is wow stained shadowcraft tunic now I would say get your hands on the Raptor hunt, uh, Hunter joint first because that you can easily get that out of um what exactly place called Stranglethorn Vale through the Raptor Mastery quest and the stats are absolutely superb especially with that six on there gives you quite a bit of number output you know what I'm saying but once you get enough to get your hands on that stained Shadowcraft tunic that's going to be your best option with that four or you could go with the health if you want i mostly go with the stats though because you know i mean i'm a, I'm a bit of an ap fiend you know what I'm saying i'm all about that heavy attack power next up we have wrist okay three wrist options boom bam bop so this wrist is cool it's healthy however good luck getting your hands on it it's a hard piece to get it is very healthy though not as healthy as these two though i would say Bands of Syracus, which is much easier to get your hands on. More AP output if you want. Or you go with the Barbaric Bracers. And your enchant is going to be uh, 9 strength or 9 stamina. Okay. okay, show you those numbers. You got 248. Bit of crit gain. Crit loss. AP loss. Stamina gain. No, stamina loss. And then you can go with this if you want. Which is the worst piece. So, definitely gonna want that barbaric. Y'all know me, I'm going with that strength because more AP. Next up, we have gloves. Lots of glove options. Lots of glove options. We got boom, bam, bop. Now, depending on what you decide to go with, let's check this cheap options first. Okay, you got your toughened leather uh fair fair pieces of gloves and you got your tiger hunter you just want raw power however these are the best of the best and i'll tell you why 
stats wise they're not going to give you as much power as the wolf claw or these dog train embracers however that nine stamina is very healthy in comparison to that six and this has no stamina that's not what makes it super healthy what makes it super healthy is it is a over level item level 35 item which means you could have some pretty stupendous enchantments so if you want blasting which gives you 10 percent crit or assault which is that 26 attack power if you don't want to go with those gloves i don't know why you wouldn't then you go with this enchant here for either one of these four you 100 percent should be going for these though why because it's just a simple quest item in shimmering flats i believe then you put that 26 or that 10 i'm you know me i'm going with that 26 big 26 you know super easy gloves to get though so you should definitely be going for those even if you do got to do a bit of a quest line it's far better than anything else in here off the enchantment alone that being said next up we got our belts okay we got two belt uh, three belt options your best belt is your defiler Highlander, same thing, different race. So you got a uh, alliance or not a uh, race, uh, alliance or horty. And then you get, if you if you want, actually, quite frankly, you know what I mean, the belt of the monkey is great, but you got to find that on the market or find it yourself. And it don't take much to get these two because remember, this is Wrath Lynch King. There is no reputation gain anymore on the PvP stuff, Warsong Gulch. All that PV, all that ranking stuff you needed, gone. You just have the stuff now, if I'm not mistaken. Which I don't believe I am, as it would say it on the item. So, get your hands on the Defiler's Belt. Only costs like a hundred honor. If you don't want to farm that, which... I don't, well, no, you kind of have to farm, because what else would you be doing as a twink? I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> You're going to be doing PvP, you ain't going to be doing nothing else. Next up, we got legs, okay? Leg options, boom, bam, bop. Those are the three best for your cheap pieces. If you if you can't quite get those yet, although these are three dungeon items. No, these two are dungeon. This is a pickup. You know what I mean, but these are your quest. You got two quest item legs here, and then these right here, which uh usually, if I'm not mistaken, are pretty dang expensive. Which is fine because these are your best legs, anyways. Give you the absolute most AP output. But if you want a little bit of stamina, go for either one of these two. But usually a lot of times, and you put a little armor kit on there, usually a lot of times as a rogue at this level, you want as much AP as possible. Because you get to stun now. Something you could not do in the past. Next up, we got boots. Boom, bam, bop. You know what I'm saying? And for our cheaper options, we got boom, bam, bop. Now, your best of the best boots are these. Get increased uh, run speed, which is always good as a rogue. The faster you could catch up to somebody, the easier you could slaughter them. Seven agility, eight stamina, very healthy. However, you could go with the feet of the lynx for even more power. And then the enchantment I would run would be minor speed for the feet of the lynx, agility for the boots. But if you just say forget it, I want full AP. You could go ahead and slap agility the boots. However. I'm going with that big stam, you know what I'm saying? It's a little too much stamina to lose for the not the biggest AP gain. You know what I'm saying? I just enchanted the freaking alliance boots. God dog it. Next up, we got them rings, okay? For rings, the lovely thing about Wrath Lynch King is it added an immaculate ring that is dumb easy to get, and that is, boom, the golden dragon ring. You can easily get that out the auction house, okay? A little bit of AP, a little bit of dodge, a little bit of armor. Very healthy. Then you got Protector's Band and Legionnaire's Band. These are Warsong Gulch items. Legionnaire for Horty, Protector for Alliance. To me, these beat out anything else. Stupid AP gains with some stamina. Okay. And then if you just want to show off, you can get your hand on the Dead Man's Ring. That drop rate is low as frick, though, so good luck. And then you got your cheaper options. Signet of Argus, which comes from a quest in Ashenvale that can be done by both Horty and Alliance, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because this was like one of the top level 20 twink items. All my characters had that ring. And then Jaina's Signet, which is aight. But these two right here, 
these are what you want Damn. next up we got trinkets a whole lot of trinkets okay swift hand of justice good 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 haste talisman of a rathor and defiler's talisman both hoary and alliance a little bit of shield boost never hurt nobody you know what i'm saying Get your engineering up so you can get the goblin mortar. Stupendous damage. Your usual Grandmaster Arena Trinket. Okay, if you want something a bit more than the Defiler's Talisman, or you could use them both together. But at this level, you know what I'm saying? A lot more stuns and whatnot come into play, so I would, uh, you know what I'm saying? Take, keep an eye on the uh, insignias. Very, uh, very. What the frick am I saying? A lot more stuns are obtained at this level. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, as a rogue alone, I already got cheap shot. Paladins got their stun. Mages be freezing and, and, and teleporting. So I would keep an eye on them in insignias. Or at least keep one on you if you don't want to have it equipped at that moment of time. So for weapons, we got a lot of options. We're going to start with the daggers. For all my dagger rogues out there, your best of the best is the torturing poker. Highest damage output by DPS and caster damage, which people cannot eat. Okay. Skip over that one dagger real quick because that thing is ridiculous and I'm going to show you. We got the Scout's Blade and the Sentinel Blade. Very, very good options for the offhand. As you can see, very healthy stats. Very healthy stats all around the board. We got the two the old, uh, bow weapons. These will always give you the highest stat outputs. Unless you're not worried too much about stats, then you want to go that DPS. But this dagger right here, very hard to get. Very, very hard to get and probably will be stupidly expensive in the market. For one specific reason. In this game, there are three powerful daggers. Each of these three powerful daggers no, four powerful daggers have a maximum speed of 130. And this is one. 130 weapons are some of the most rarest weapons in this game, but if you could get your hands on one, it makes for a perfect offhand because of that sheer speed. Slap instant poison on it, mongoose on it, fiery weapon on it, crusader on it, crit rate, I mean not crit rate, a uh, hit rate gonna be dumb. Or proc rate, I mean. Okay, the problem is this is a very hard dagger to get off. It has like six NPCs that drop it and each of them are well below 1%. So that means that market price gonna be stupendous, unfortunately. Now if you're not really one for the dagger life and you like more of big hands and heavy hitters, and boom, you know what I'm saying, for your main hand, and bop, for your off hand, or you could go with this for your offhand, something a little faster, high DPS. Or the classic butcher, you know what I'm saying, for just dual heavy hands, you know what I mean? And once you get up enough, you can get your hands on the rend and or the thrash blade. If you're more on the mace side because you want something a little bit as matching as the doll rend, then boom, Massa McGowan. For all my hoardy folks, you get this lovely mace for your offhand. Healthy stats, very healthy DPS, fairly fast for the offhand. A little bit of brass knuckles. Those are very healthy as well. That age strength, healthy stats, 160 speed. And for my alliance, you have one of the best options here. And that is the Crescent of the Forlorn Spirits. As you can see, it is the only level 35 item level weapon. So you get to put Mongoose on that piece. Okay, so if you're an alliance, get your hands on that axe. This is a Duskwood axe, so it's pretty easy to get. Duskwood quests are, for the most part, are pretty smooth, pretty fun, not too bad, you know what I mean? I enjoy doing Duskwood quests. And then, put that mongoose on that. I will not be using this for this, web, uh, for this video because, unfortunately, I did choose Horty. So I gotta play by the Horty rules, and the Horty rule is... Been dead on the offhand, baby. Holy, with the mass of McGowan on the main hand, because that does have the best AP output of all these weapons here. I'm going to head slap uh, agility on that jump. Unfortunately, boa weapons cannot be enchanted with 35 plus because that 
item level on boas didn't become a thing till cataclysm if i'm not mistaken all these joints is item level one so yeah they didn't start changing the item level on until cataclysm boom massive mcgowan 15 and that is it for gear my good folks next up we need all the knickknack patty wax so it's very specific yeah i'm definitely gonna be transmogging her gear she looked freaking ridiculous <laughs> There's a lot of things you need as a rogue, okay? Utilities and whatnot. I use all my enchantments. Make sure I didn't forget to enchant my gear. <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you make a mistake. And I'll be good. Utilities are very important for uh, twinking characters. Specific things you're gonna need. You probably already noticed them on my bars. Now, the reason I chose the orc was because she could get that healthy, uh, Okay, I'm about to say 6 AP? 118 AP. You could go with a troll for that ridiculous haste. You could go with night elves, whoever the fuck. It's your choice. I, I don't really go for my characters based off of what who does what the best. I choose them based off of swag, you know what I mean? But for utility purposes, you're going to need Life of Sinister Strike. Your Sinister Strike critical strikes have a 50% chance to add an extra combo point. That is dumb healthy. You need stuff like that. I mean, more combos, more damage output. For your small glyph, I'm using Vanish. Give you a little bit of extra movement speed so you can get out of somewhere a little faster than normal. Okay. Like I said earlier, for the cloak, gotta get that engineering up. You need those mithril frag bombs. A lot of damage, good stun. Very healthy item to have. Get your hands on some scroll agilities. Swiftness potions, because those are super, uh, super important. Got to be able to be fast. Uh, for talents, I'm really just using a raw damage build. So Master of Deception so people can't see me that easily. Improve Sinister Strike so I can strike more often. And a lot of things that increase my crit. You know what I'm saying? Which we already have 20%. So that's good. Very good. Other than that, I mean, you know what I mean? Don't forget to, you know, get your mount training. Because you are uh, past level 20 now. So mount training is important. Uh, you know what I mean? Grab you some good food. I could have got some better food, but you know, some food that gives you stats maybe. I didn't think about it till now. Uh, that's some, uh, actually, yeah, I didn't think about that. Let me see. And for food, get your hands on some hot wolf ribs. You can get eight stamina. Very healthy stamina. Gotta have stamina. You know what I mean? Not more with some more health. That being said, folks, I mean, that's everything. You know what I'm saying? We got a full selection of gear here. 413 attack power at just level 29. You know what I'm saying? Some level freaking 40s and 50s don't even got that much. 20% crit. Everything is good to go. That being said, let's go beat up on some peoples. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you just gonna watch this many minutes of the video and you ain't even gonna hit the subscribe button? That's crazy to me. Subscribe right now, man. Let's get back into the video. Alrighty, folks, you see the swag, you know what I'm saying? Swag tastic. Look, it's level 29 stuff. I was goofing around fighting some NPCs just in West Falls, attempting to find something to kill. <laughs> this, this is probably going to be pretty dang strong. Okay, this is probably going to be pretty strong. So I thought about it too. I'm probably going to run around with the Forlorn just so Alliance folks can get a good look at this magnifical weapon. Okay. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? Same set of gear, same thing. It's popping. Nothing else to say. Let's go. Just realized I forgot health potions. I probably won't need them, but hopefully I ain't wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We is in the level 20 now, 20s now. People are a little stronger. Just a little bit. Not like a whole bunch stronger, but... Enough that if you make a mistake, I mean... Why are my name, why are these bars on? See, people be telling me, yo, you gotta have these bars on. I hate these dang bars. I don't even know why they're on. They're so freaking big. I can see the red name good enough. I, and I ain't even got the best eyes in the world. My eyes stink. I can still see that good enough. These bars too dang big. I don't like them. I don't even know how they got on. That. Okay. I need somebody to murder though. Where everybody at? Wait for the flag. Oh crap, I forgot to put sprint down. 
Got to put a sprint down, baby. All right, let's get a first-hand taste for this damage. Oh, crap. I, I messed up. I have to interrupt you there, man. So, for in terms of raw damage, the level 19 definitely benefits more. As we know, you know what I'm saying? That's normal, pretty normal stuff. Lower level you, the lower level you are, the more you benefit from stats. Before I got my flag. Huh? Got my flag. I actually didn't get confused this time. Because <laughs> I'll be playing Alliance so much more than I play Horde. A lot of times I'll be getting confused like, yo, I am Alliance? Or am I Horde? I'm definitely Horde. That fool dying fast. Oh no. I have to stop you right there, little homie. Ooh! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Big mithril bomb. Resist! Resist this. Here we going, man. Goblin mortar, baby. Boom! <laughs> Yo, the mortar, son. You get so much more utilities at this level, though. It really doesn't even matter that much that uh, level 19 has higher uh, in uh, comparison to damage. Level to damage health ratios. Rathy. What the fuck? Oh my goodness, we lost half the people. <laughs> Not enough players. God dog it! I should have joined it. Oh, what the fuck? Got my dang flag. I'm on my watch of the homie. However, this is some mighty healthy damage. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! There's some very healthy damage right here. I like. I like what I'm seeing. No doubt. No doubt. Hold on. Let me see. Can we get mongoose to play? Be for all my uh, for all my alliance out there. Oh, y'all get the love on this one. I mean, beautiful freaking mongoose, 120 agility, boy. Now how ridiculous 120 agility is at this level? Freaking broken. That's what it is. Absolutely broken. Also, as you can see, by having our Defiler's boots, uh, Defiler's boots, which is why I was saying earlier, as great as the uh, AP gain you would be from the what's name boots may be, it's not gonna beat out the utility of the Defiler's boots. I move so much faster than everybody else. I just kicked this fool on accident. Why? Can't kick a rogue. They ain't casting nothing. Look at that little old piggy. <laughs> Why that pet so tiny? I forgot the lower level you are, the smaller your pet. That boy getting kited right now with perfection. Shoot. Got some decent freaking gear on him. No wonder he got kited like that. See, I knew you was gonna do your little heal. Oh man, I knew you was gonna do your little heal. Mithril bombs, baby. That's why you gotta have bombs on your on your characters. Doesn't matter if you a rogue, warrior, paladin, hunter, priest. You got these bombs on your boy. Keep a fool at bay. You know what I mean? Especially if you like a healer or something, and you need to back off. One of your best ways to get damage out: a goblin mortar with mithril frag, spamming freaking shadow crap, whatever that crap is called. Man. And embarrass people. Did I just die to a healer? You sure did, baby. There was nothing you could do about it. Got hit with the triple, triple sauce. You know what I mean? Having a big fight up there, and he got murdered. Gotta get up there, man. Game still about to close. What? Oh, I'm Horty. <laughs> I'm about to say how they got so many more people than us. I'm Horty. <laughs> I forgot about that. Now, the beautiful thing about a, being a rogue is you are a great flag runner because you got sprint and you got the potion joints. Why this fool got so much dang gear, son? I wonder this fool over here popping people. He got freaking, uh, dang near a full set of Twink Hunter gear on. Which, 
in the in the in the in the future we will be doing some hunter stuff i'll be doing a lot of these i freaking love these twinking characters i never really got to do them back in the day because your boy was always a broke boy i did too much pvp and never made any gold uh plus for me uh twinking at the time was like eh, why would i do that i could just hop on my max level character i never got to experience the fun that was twinking characters so once I got to start doing Twinkin' in, in uh, Wrath of Lynch King, I got a little taste for it in Wrath of Lynch King. So for those who don't know, uh, trial accounts used to be 10 days max. So what I would do is I would make a trial account, level the character as fast as possible to level 19, get as much gear as I possibly could. Uh, so that means as soon as I hit level 19, I would immediately start doing dungeons as fast as possible because you only got 10 days to be great. Okay, get up to the... To your first 10 gold within that level 10 to 19 through doing those dungeons and then i would immediately get into pvp and just murder people i'm like yo this is mad fun i like this maybe i should try twinking for the first time never did <laughs> so one time around early cataclysm i'm like yo it's been a very long time since i've done that level 10 character challenge i used to do or a level 19 10 day challenge i used to do i'm like you know let me let me mess around and do that so I made a trial account and I'm like, where's the 10 days? This, this don't last 10 days no more. And at that moment I realized, yo, trial accounts last forever now and last forever indeed. Cause I still got all my original trial accounts. And it's funny too. Cause that trial account where I would make those 10 days, I still have all the original five accounts with the original characters I made on them. <laughs> some of them are level 20. Some of them are still 19. And I think a couple of them I deleted because they just weren't all that special no more. And I'm like, yo, you mean to tell me I get to do this as much as I freaking want now, son? That was a fool behind me. I didn't even know that. Get the crap off me. Oh, I ain't got the right trinket on. Out of range. He right next to me. I'm lagging. Oh, no, he lagging. Do the weed. Glad you came down here. we get a mongoose proc yet? I said mongoose. Mongoose has pretty healthy uh, proc rate. You'll never be too disappointed when it does or doesn't pop. It's pretty freaking healthy for the most part. However, the dagger was giving us a little bit more shine exactly like I thought it would with that instant poison and that fiery weapon getting more caster damage. That 130 speed is, is a precious speed. It's the reason there's a reason why there's only been four daggers throughout this entire game to have a 130 speed. <clears throat> you see 140 quite often, quite freaking often. You see 150 quite often. However, there are only four daggers in this whole freaking game with a 130 speed. That should let you know how amazing it is. Get that weapon off you. Yo, why these hunters got such amazing gear? You ain't gonna save them from the sheer speed and ability of a rogue. Who's too busy trying to kill the caster? Dang! Yo, why? Yo, everybody at this level got stupid gear, apparently. That's for this fool. Look at all that dang mana! everybody out here man i ain't even disappointed you know what i mean get it where you fit in you know what i mean get in where you fit in yeah this 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 dagger is just too amazing like i said if you if you if you if you are playing <laughs> if you are playing on anything vanilla to wrath of the lynch king okay and you get your hands on a 130 dagger you have stepped upon greatness i'm keeping a hundred with you yeah you know i mean you got this joint for a level 20 uh no 26 to 30 35 i would say then you go one up you got julie's dagger so that's from 53 to 60 and if you can get your hands on the distracting dagger, which ain't nothing but Julie's dagger, but way better because it's got expertise. So that's hit rating because faster dagger. 
You know what I'm saying? Got some hit rating on it. Shoot. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm sitting here running in circles and crap. And then for level 70, you have the sun, sun wing something. It's a little golden dagger. Pretty as fuck. It's the dagger I was transmogged on. I had transmogged on uh, Retoria for a very long time. Those are the four 130 speed daggers in this game, and all four of them are absolutely amazing. And if you can get your hands on them, you have you have stumbled upon sheer greatness in the form of some 3D pixels. Okay. 130 speed dagger is is truly untouchable. I don't care what nobody say. Shmo, you, you never used one if you think anything other. I mean, you've never had the ability to get your hands on such greatness if you if you think there's anything better than a 130 dagger. Oh, what the fuck? Got two busters on me. What's going on here? Don't die, little druid. What? Out of here, my distance. Yo, what the fuck? Kind of crap going on with these uh, these arcane bolts. Wait till I go stealth. I murdered both of you, man. Let me find that road. There you go. Dang, this crap is nice. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Whoops. Oh, shoot. It won't let me. Man, it wouldn't let me. There's a freaking radius. I can't believe I just died trying to use this dang thing and there's a limit to when I can use it. I'm all too close. You can't even damage yourself in this freaking game. <laughs> what, what does it matter? I always hate it when they did that in this game. Like, you can't even hurt yourself. Why is there a distance limit? I can understand if this was like Call of Duty, you shot an RPG at your own feet, you know what I mean? Perk, man. Got me killed. I could have hit him with the joint, hit him with that stun. It would have been over for that dang mage, man. He would have never survived. Too freaking close. Yeah, let's, uh, actually, let me switch these two around because I feel like that's more of a damage thing, so it'd be good to have that closer down on my bars. Where you at, baby? When I see you, it's on sight, baby. Yeah, these 130 speed daggers are the greatest. It's, I mean, if you think about it, right? My character, a little grimy. I fight with no gear on that character. What's the main thing in his offhand? The distracting dagger. Why? Cause that 130 speed is not to be messed with, baby. Oh shoot, you ran right the first past me. And then a dang hunter. Oh dog. That one that 130 speed is untouchable. I think he'll be fine. Oh, they're up there fighting. That 130 speed is just is just truly untouchable. Okay. You don't have a 130 speed on one of your characters who is a form of of, of some of some form of twinking. You messing up. Get your hands on a 130 speed. Just hit me with a mean freaking uh shot old male. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the fool that killed me. Give me a dang flag. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I can't turn. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yo. 130 speeds, level 29 twink. How do I feel about the level 29 twink? Though they don't feel as powerful as the uh, level 19 due to health to damage ratio, they do feel far more defensive utilities, all that. Way better than the level 19. I got a mount, better food options, better scrolls, better enchantment options. Uh, freaking better engineering options. So, in terms of damage, they might not feel as healthy as the 19, but everything else, way better. This was way more fun than a level 19. Far more faster paces. I got better sprint. You know, you do sprint at 19. It just feels so much faster and healthier at this level because the gear is better, the options are better, talents are more. Yo. A lot of fun, a lot of good fun. Here's been your boy, Jadon Legendary. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, that's good either way. If you watched it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that other good stuff you do be making the same man. Support the channel, become legendary. I'm out.